Hey guys, it is day one of Brickworld. We're about to start getting everything set up. We're going to start off in the Toralug slash Orphan Lug area. I'm part of Toralug, Toronto Lego user group. There's also Orphan Lug here, which is something my amazing friend Simon started. Basically somewhere for people who don't have a lug to display with to display all their stuff together. So we got a bunch of awesome, awesome builds on display around here. I'm going to get my first table set up. Then we'll be moving over to Gamer Lug a little bit afterwards. So stay tuned for your watching all of that come together. All right, so for in the Toro Lug area, I've got my brick and mix stuff set up, my recently built logo that we did as a viewer build, special viewer build request. We've got the follow me sign with all the fun social media logos we did a while ago. We've got our little streaming area, a recent little pod, pod racer we built um, as part of a collab that ended up being a little bit too big. So I built a smaller version, but I really like this one. So I thought I'd bring it along. We've got our Clockwork Kitten special viewer build request, the Soyuz Spacecraft special viewer build request as well. So right here. We've got our little Emmett's uh, Rescue Rocket Micro Fighter. We've got Hagrid here as well. We've got Tigger, of course. Those are both special here. Builder Crest. Toronto Raptors logo. Hopefully they pull out the win for us tonight. Let's go Raptors. Um, we've got our Stanley build that we built for Endgame. And then last but certainly not least, we've got our Lego Movie 2 build. Oh, I'm so good at managing this one. And there we go. And that's our whole setup. So we've made it over to the gamer lug area and we're now gonna be setting up all of our gaming related builds. So stay tuned for all that to come together. Alrighty, so first off, we've got, of course, our Keyblade from Kingdom Hearts. Super awesome build. Then we've got some random little builds. We've got our Waluigi from one of our special viewer build quests. Our Durburger from a special viewer build quest. And then these are actually some new builds I'm showing you guys. I'm actually hoping to put some kits together for us. So hopefully you guys will get to check those out pretty soon. Working on getting those together for you. We've got our Bright Bomber backpack, of course. We got the plunger, the one that Ninja holds. Pretty cool. We've got all of our video game maps. So Retail Row, Cerulean City, Super Mario Bros. 3, World 1, and Dorado from Overwatch. Of course, you've got the Rainbow Smash pickaxe as well. That big, beautiful build. And I'm actually not going to be holding on to you much longer. It's going to someone else very, very soon. And then, finally, for the third time, we have reassembled the loot tech. She is finally back together again. Hopefully, this will be the last time I have to reassemble it. And there's Caleb getting the gamer look stuff ready. Oh yeah. Hey guys, it is day two of Brickworld. Uh, most people have all of their stuff set up now, so I wanna do a little bit of a walk around to check it out. I am also gonna be live streaming from the event. There'll be a VOD of that on Twitch uh, after I get this all uploaded so you can see the entire show. But I do wanna highlight some of the stuff from a lot of my friends that are here at the convention. So we're gonna go ahead and check that out. So we are starting with the Toro Lug slash Orphan Lug area. This is from a really awesome friend of ours named Finn. He's all the way from the UK, has some incredible builds. This very, very sci-fi, like, Cyberpunk, Apoc stuff, you can see some of his builds are called Cyberpunk. Super duper cool builds, tons of awesome details. Really, really great like rustic look to these guys. Absolutely love his work. The builds are so good. And just look at this big, huge city. It's crazy awesome. It's got like a super tall tower as well. It's really, really high up. It looks super fantastic. Then we're gonna start to move in some stuff from some other core look friends, a little bit more Finn stuff. We had our friend Eli here. He's a big Harry Potter fan. He's got a ton of amazing Harry Potter and Smile builds. I mean, just look at, at this Diagon Alley. So, so cool with all the little carts underneath, everything like that. Next up, we've got our buddy Marcus. He's actually a Lego designer. Always makes his way up to Brickworld though to show off his incredible builds. Insanely, insanely skilled and talented. Really, really good at finding unique ways of connecting things together. It's one of my favorite things about what he does. He really, really pushes the boundary of where you would expect. He's a piece, I mean, look at that. Keys on the railings. How cool is that? So, so good. Some more amazing builds from him. Some little collabs from some of those guys. Awesome little city. 
looking good. This is an amazing build, unlike the name would say. Uh, this is actually functioning waves. It's pretty slow moving, but it is so, so cool what Grant, Grant did here. Grant Davis, crazy good builder. Literally rolling waves. Not only do the waves roll, but the whole thing moves back and forth. You can see he matched the wave pattern to the actual uh, sands. Just so, so cool. So, so cool. It's really, really awesome. And you can get an idea of the mechanism of that right here. And right beside this, we got an awesome build of Grants as well. Really, really good at finding cool ways to connect things together too. Such an awesome build. Here we've got some awesome mechs from Marcus. Marcus has been doing a Mech Monday series. He's gonna be doing a mech every single week. I don't know how he's managing to find the time to build all of this awesome stuff. He apparently does some of these in like an hour, which is just embarrassing for most other builders, but really impressive stuff. Got some more awesome micro scale stuff from Marcus here too. I think he called this the Four Seasons highlighting a bunch of the different seasons and different little builds, which are amazing. We got one last build from Marcus, an amazing little windmill. Again, just insane, insane detail. The way that he's able to, you know, connect things together is absolutely mind blowing. I mean, who even knows how those cheese slopes are all connected on the inside? It's absolutely crazy. And we've got some other Orphan Lug members Cecilia has an amazing Moltres here. So, so awesome. She's got all these awesome little minifig vignettes as well. Representing different little, you know, sections of these minifigures lives, which looks so, so good. And then we've got our friend Daniel. He's actually a member of Toralug. Uh, awesome little cottage here. So many fantastic details. It's just amazing what these people are coming up with. Right, we're moving on to, uh, oh man, I totally forgot the banana's name for the Lego movie, but look, it's a giant one. Who doesn't love that? So, so cool. And then this is an awesome call that my friend Simon came up with, member of Torlug. It's called Sewer Babies, and he is literally making it a very literal thing where basically every individual sewer has a little scene built in it. It's a collab he came up with that people could contribute to in different ways. So everybody built different little scenes in here. I actually contributed to this one as well. And we'll get to see what my little scene looks like in just a sec. And here it is. That we do some fun little pot racing inside of that. So looking pretty awesome. I love that he did both vertical and horizontal ones. Lots of flexibility for different little scenes in the little sewers. So, so cute. Manufacturing. Mario inspired stuff, more video game inspired stuff, fun little scenes above and below. So, so cute. And our friend Ted built these adorable little bulldozers for them as well. You'll see those popping up in a couple places throughout the walk. Next up, we've got this amazing display. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing the name of the city wrong. It's like Cianassus or Cianesis. Uh, it's an amazing, amazing uh, collab and idea that my friend Dan came up with, Dan Church. Uh, amazing, amazing build. You might have seen him on the stream before. Um, it's basically like a floating, gliding, you know, water city. It's kind of the idea. These amazing little like floating boats. Um, so you guys can kind of get an idea of what these, you know, various sailing crafts look like. Rather than cruising through the water, they mostly cruise above it as well as these little floating docks with a very, very modern, um, you know, stylizing. Very sci-fi-y, but also very elegant. I think this was one of the first ones that Dan did as well. Just very clean, simple, lots of fun geometric shapes in them. And then his main seaport here is absolutely amazing. He made a very good use of the, uh, the new tr um, roller coaster tracks. You can see those all around, different elements of the build. I really, really helped to tie everything together. I also don't want to skip over our amazing friend Casey's uh, luxury little cruise liner. It's got a little party going on there. So, so awesome. You can see the name of the thing here. All the aeronautical flags, which is awesome too. And then tons more awesome, awesome, uh, you know, various watercrafts from tons of different builders because Dan invited a bunch of people to participate in this one. And we've got another little part of the settlement here. This is like a farming area, so different, you know, crops, uh, catching seafood, tons of amazing stuff on this section here. Such a cool collab. Looks really nice with all the waves on the tablecloth as well. It's 
for an awesome looking display. We got some other random stuff from our Orphan Lug friends. This is some amazing builds from our friend Ted. Some awesome little spaceships. Ted always does awesome, cool, and small sci-fi stuff. We've got some little baby stuff and some micro scale builds. Wizard of Oz fun. Really, really cool mech here from Ted as well. As, and some awesome speeder bikes. Gotta love those guys. Speeder bikes have always been a really popular theme within the LEGO community. So awesome to see Ted kind of keeping that alive. Some super cool little micro scale builds. I think these are more just uh, probably some builds that people have been building on site. Simon always brings a ton of LEGO for people to mess around with. And we've got an awesome series of Indiana Jones vignettes from our friend John. He's a crazy awesome builder. Recently got to intern at LEGO, which is so awesome. Excited to see some of his stuff come out in the near future. Um, he's been doing these Indiana Jones vignettes for a long time, covering different scenes from all of the different movies. Makes for such an amazing display. Looking so, so cool. Hey guys, it is day three of Brickworld. Uh, something really cool is about to get started. You can see it's already pretty dark in here. Uh, all the lights are about to go off. It is World of Lights, which is basically an opportunity for uh, people to show off any of their mocks that are lit up with lights. So we're gonna go around and check out some of the cooler ones while we're here. So this first build is from our friend Adrian. Built an absolutely incredible DS9 space station from Star Trek. Uh, he's got a disco show planned. It's gonna go from the DS9 to the Disco 9. You're good to walk by, my friend, don't Are worry. You sure? I don't want oh yeah, to no, no, you're all good. Thank Please. You. you guys are good? Disco Space Nine. Well, that is freaking awesome. Let's go see what other cool things we can find that are lit up. Some amazing rocket launch bays here that are really, really nicely lit up. Let's see both of those awesome little rocket stations looking very awesome with all the beautiful lights. The lighting effect on this Ghostbusters logo is super duper awesome. Very soft glow in the background. Really makes the whole uh, mosaic pop out. And right here we've got Imagine's amazing Bioshock build, which is looking super extra awesome with all of the lighting effects. Really fits the uh, whole underwater vibe. You can even see a lot of the interior details are lit up here. Such a cool build. There's a big daddy hiding in there. And right here we've got a super awesome classic space hangar bay type builds, or maybe a moon base you might call it. Uh, looks really, really nice, all lit up though, really highlighting the ships here and all the little passageways. Now you can even see there's a little Benny inside there, look at Benny hiding in there. Happy little guy. Just found us a really, really beautifully lit up Hogwarts. Looks super duper awesome. You can obviously hear the amazing music playing as well. Perfectly sets the mood for Hogwarts. This is definitely one of the cooler builds that I've seen this weekend. It's an entire TMNT dedicated build, so a little city above, which you can't really see, it's a bit dark for that. But the lights look really, really awesome here. One of the details I love is that they did a different light in each room, in each turtle. Looking so, so cool. I've always loved Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, especially one of the more recent cartoons that not a lot of people enjoyed, but I really liked it. So it's awesome to see a TMNT inspired build. We got this super cool Imperial Hangar Bay, which is supposed to be on the interior of a Star Destroyer. This is actually General Veer's AT&T, right before it heads to Hoth. Take part in the Battle of Hoth. Lots of awesome lit up details. Even on the side of the thing. We got an awesome, awesome looking twister here, based on the Twister movie with some fun lit up elements. Obviously, the tornado itself looks awesome. You got some fun little signs and such within the build as well. Hey friends, it is technically day four. I'm still kind of going on day three, but it's a little late at night. You can see the hall's a bit empty, um, but there is one more area that I want to show you. And that's of course the gamer leg area. I said I was going to be doing that a little earlier, uh, but I actually had to wait for some other builds to show up. So we're now going to dive in and check out the amazing and wonderful gamer leg display. So we're gonna start off with some super awesome Destiny builds. This is a mix of builds uh, by our friend Nick Brick, who we very often get confused together, but I love him, he's amazing. 
and he builds these awesome, awesome things from Destiny and many other video games. We've also got some awesome builds by our friend Alex. You guys can see these beautiful things and all their awesome details. We're moving into some builds by another friend of ours. His name is Daniel. Very nice guy. Builds some awesome stuff, also inspired by video games. So you can see we've got some Horizon Zero Dawn, as well as some fantastic Overwatch builds. HDD is definitely a game I need to get around to, and I feel like I missed some Overwatch, but I always get my Overwatch League goodness. We're diving into more of Nick's builds here. He covers a bunch of different games. You can see Halo, Titanfall, Apex. Uh, you got some James Bond mixed in here as well. Uh, something that he worked on recently was from Aliens, celebrating an anniversary that they celebrated recently. Uh, so some really, really awesome stuff from our buddy Nick Brick. Moving into more Nick Brick stuff, as well as some builds from some of our other friends like Caleb and Simon. Uh, this is all stuff from Rainbow Six, a game that they really like to play together. Um, so this just highlights some different builds from the game, from some of the characters in it. You can see the nice gamer log banner here, an awesome little logo we've got to help people understand what we're all about. I think this is one of Nick's most recent builds, and it's one of the two nominated builds at the gamer log area. Uh, the FAMAS here was nominated for best replica. Very, very worthy, of course. Love Nick's gamer log. Gamer Lug's Rainbow Six Siege logo here. So, so awesome looking. Then the build that we had needed to wait for was from our amazing friend, Imagine. Uh, this is a build of Bioshock, covering a bunch of different stuff from the game. As it says there, it's kind of the collection. So all of the interior areas that you see here and stuff, and you can see more from the back. I'm not gonna be able to show you guys today, but um, it's such a beautiful build. He's got tons of incredible details. A variety of big daddies mixed in throughout these builds. Um, they just look really, really awesome. I'm gonna zoom in. It's actually something you got to see a little bit of uh, in World of Lights, but you're gonna see it a little bit better here. Looking amazing, absolutely massive, but incredibly detailed. So well put together. Even the logo just looks so fantastic. So awesome, awesome stuff there. Moving on, we're moving into a really awesome collab that my buddies put together. We've got some Overwatch maps, starting with Caleb's. We've got Lijang Tower. My buddy Simon did Volskaya Industries. Looking really awesome. A featuring an amazing truck by our friend Marcus. And then we've got our second nominated build of the table, which is from our very good friend Casey. Um, absolutely incredible rendition of uh, Eigenwald. And you can never pronounce that one right. But such a fun map. He picked an awesome area to do, and he really, really did the build. So much justice. Tons of awesome little details on this. Um, just fantastic. Very, very worthy of the nomination for sure. And definitely a fun map to watch the game on too. We've got another awesome one, Temple of Anubis, from our friend Daniel. Uh, he's actually a different Daniel than one we talked about earlier. He's actually from Toronto. Some really wonderful building he did here for Temple of Anubis. First checkpoint. We've got some uh, builds from previous years for our buddy Alex as well. So the Mercy Staff and Pistol looking awesome. What we got here is a work in progress of Chateau uh, Gilliard from Matt Delanoy, an incredibly talented builder. He did the whole thing digitally first. He has unfortunately not had enough time to bring the physical manifestation to life in time for this year's Brickworld. But I'll be really excited to see this at next year's event. And then last but not least, we're gonna be moving into my stuff, which you guys know pretty well. These are all things we've done live on our stream. Nothing that you haven't seen here before, but it's been uh, really, really fun to see all the positive reaction to these. It's been a lot of fun seeing people trying to guess the video game maps here. Really, really excited to do even more of these. It's gonna be a lot, a lot of fun to continue to work on these. And then last but certainly not least, and uh, these were builds at Brickworld last year, but these are from our buddy Dan. Uh, absolutely incredible renditions of the Mario Odyssey ship, as well as the first generation of the Fortnite Battle Bus. Beautiful stuff. Uh, I always love displaying with gamer lugs. They always bring amazing, amazing builds together. And it just looks so, so awesome. Something I'm really excited to show you guys is that I have actually been nominated my, for my first ever award at Brickworld. That is for best creature for these very, very fun builds of our friend Tigger. So, so exciting and we will find out soon if I uh, managed to pull out the amazing win on that award. But if not, it's still such a huge honor and I'm so, so excited.
I am home from Brick World. It's always sad to leave an event, but always good to come home as well. I had such an amazing time this weekend seeing so many friends checking out so, so many cool LEGO builds. Always, always love that about Brick World. And on top of that, I actually got to see some of Chicago this time with some of our LEGO friends as well. It was so cool to see a bunch of different parts in the city. And to top it all off, we won our very first Brick World Award. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Really, really appreciate it. We will catch you in the next video. Have a good one and happy building.